Hi, I'm Perry from Mesa Digital Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to automatically pull in the name of your subscribers into a newsletter to um, kind of give it a personality touch and also help the emails to go into the inbox rather than promotions for your subscribers. Here is an example um, of our, this is our automatic RSS feed email that goes out every time we post on WordPress. And you can see right here I say, Hi Perry, that's automatically putting in the name of the subscriber in the, the MailChimp list. So as long as you have a first name or you're collecting the first name from MailChimp, it will display it. If you're just collecting email, you want to put the name of the email there. And that can even help or be a little bit better than nothing. But here's the inside of this email. Um, to get here, you're really just going to start any kind of campaign or a new newsletter. In this case, we are testing, like I said, the, in another video, how to get a feed automatically sent to your WordPress blog. Um, and then this one, we get to switch out here the feed for the WordPress blog, and instead we're going to uh, get rid of this one. And th there, so I'm just in a text box. You can do this with any text box you create. You go over to the merge tags, and um, there's member data, first and last name, right? The first thing. So we were at the very bottom for the RSS feed but you can do a whole lot of things depending on what you collect data-wise. So first name is all we want. And then, like I said, I said in ours, hi. So hi, first name, and then the comma. You do want to include that. As long as you don't touch anything between the asterisks, then you're going to be okay, the asterisks and the bars. So that's like an asterisk of the bar uh, for Mac, that's command, and then the, the forward slash, or the backslash, I mean, and then the comma. So, yep, just go into your merge tags, pull it in, and start typing whatever your message will be. In this case, we had our RSS feed, so you could then add your RSS feed at the bottom. And um, we changed this from our blog to uh, Mesa Digital Marketing. And then save the changes, continue, and confirm your campaign and get it started. So that is just a short tutorial for getting some customization and also hopefully helping your promotional emails or your newsletter emails get into the inbox for your users. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. We'll hope to see you in the next videos.